Hi guys, um, just responding to one of the reviews uh, for the assets and um, there's a question about how to get the relative movement in Space for Unity. And uh, although I'm working on the update that will allow free movement, I know a lot of you have been waiting for that for some time and I'm trying to really uh, share my time with that and uh, some of the other stuff. So I'm, I'm getting to that, but uh, for the time being, I uh, just wanted to show you how to get the relative movement in a scene anyway. And uh, the way you do that is when I've lo loaded one of the demo scenes uh, from the current 1.03 release. And uh, basically you just go into the space scene subfolder and go into the space camera. And you will have a parameter there called relative speed. And uh, uh, without uh, that, you know, by default that param parameter is set to zero. And uh, as you know, when you fly through, uh, you will never reach uh, the planet because basically it's just a, a surrounding environment and that was the main intention with Space for Unity to begin with. Um, so uh, you'll have movement around the asteroids but not uh, you won't get really, uh, uh, you will never really approach the planet you know using the, the setup. So what you can do is you can set this value from 0 to maybe 0. Uh, one, for example, that should that'll probably be quite fast movement. So you'll find yourself reaching the planet now. Uh, there is one fundamental problem with this way of doing it, and that is the asteroids. You know, with it being a different scale, uh, you will approach the planet, but not the asteroids. So you you can't can't really combine the asteroid field uh, when you when you use relative movement because you know you should have reached the asteroid a long time ago, and that's one of the problems when you use uh, relative movement in in a scene. That will be addressed in the update in the future because uh, uh, everything will be represented in three different coordinate layers. So uh, basically, if you fly at this speed, uh, you won't really see any of the space dust or the uh, or the asteroids because it'll just fly so fast that you know that's basically just uh, it's going to be taken out of the scene view at those speeds. Um, you just really wouldn't see them. So if you want relative movement. Uh, between your planets, your game would really have to be designed for that sort of mo movement in this stage. So, uh, the best way to do it is just to not use asteroids because, really, you know, it doesn't work. So, uh, if you want this sort of fast speed, that's what I recommend doing. Another issue with the relative movement is that uh, you will also approach uh, the stars, uh, which is not ideal. At least not the way the current way you know the current way it's set up, and also you'll you'll see that the nebulas here are approaching as well, which is another uh, problem. So you can have slight movement. I recommend maybe keeping this value instead at uh, uh, something really low, just to get that sense of a uh, sense of motion, you know, in a scene. But uh, if you want true movement between planets and two stars and between stars, then I suggest uh, hanging tight for the update or going for um, your own approach meanwhile so i hope that helps out a little bit to understand about the relative movement and um and uh, thanks for tuning in thanks a lot bye